Okay, welcome back. While we're done, there's just as a reminder, there's the uh, shells I showed you the uh, before, what they look like. It's a typical sample of what was in the bucket. And... Come on, tripod, work with me. And there's the after. What a difference, huh? Wow. Now these uh, sat in the lemon juice and they uh, for, let me see, six, for about five hours and then I rinsed them, dried them, and then put them in the tumbler. They were in my tumbler for oh, maybe uh, you know, not quite an hour. And my uh, tumbling media is pretty well worn out, but man, what a difference, huh? So, we're going to give the, there you go, there's a shot of both of them. We're going to give the lemon juice a thumbs up. It worked. It worked good. Now, where the brass is really tarnished like these are here, after they were in the lemon juice, they where the tarnish was did turn pink. Um, from the research that I've done, that's the <coughs> oxidized, I believe it's um, tin that's in the brass, the oxidized tin exposing the copper in the brass, and the copper turns pink. Um, it, all the pink disappeared on the, um, on the polished brass. You can't tell at all. So... If you choose to do this, don't freak out when you see the pink. <laughs> and uh, it just it just does a really nice job for, for what it costs you. So there's my experiment. That one worked. Hey, no, SHTF. Challenge for you. You were asking, what if you used vinegar? I don't know, bro. Why don't you try it? Let me know what you come up with. <laughs> Anyway, hey, this is Papa's Place. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If questions or comments, leave them down below. Y'all take care. Remember, keep smiling. It makes people wonder what you've been up to. Bye.